with y'all. What's wrong with making time for females these days? Why ask us to be in y'all lives? Why choose us? Because the funny thing is, y'all men, y'all get to choose first before us women do. And I say that because it's true. And I'm also hearing that from a pastor. So here's the thing. I watch two young pastors' videos. And it's all about learning how to let the man be the man and you play your role as a woman. And they said it respectfully. is nothing degraded or disrespectful. And I agree with it because as a woman, I play my role as being a feminine woman who knows how to use her alertness and her, um, how you say, her feminine allure to get what she wants. And it all starts within yourself and then it ends off with the man. So in no way, shape or form am I saying prostitute yourself or use your body to get what you want. No. Women, if you're a real lady and you're very feminine, you should know how to use your feminine allure to attract the man. And fellas, you need to learn how to read signals. Seriously, just like how we're not mind readers, y'all not mind readers. And two, y'all need to learn how to open your mouth. Open your mouth. Because you're not going to get anything if you don't say nothing. And then two, once you do open your mouth, make that first move. You're not going to always get a woman to make the first move. Because nowadays or ever, women never make the first move in anything. Women never sit here and call themselves coming, running after a man just to get him to be hers. Since when you ever seen that? So what are you waiting for? An invitation? We gave you the green light long time ago. Since the dawn of time, we've been giving men the green light on saying what you need to say and don't be afraid to express how you feel. Your love language, we need to know what it is. Help us out. Do we need to sit here and test y'all? No. I am not trying to test nobody, okay? As for me, no. I don't need to sit here and go through the extra mile into getting some answers or even trying to see if y'all will express yourselves. Um, seriously, open your mouths. Okay, so another thing. When it comes to me, okay, I'm going to use myself as an example because I think this is a perfect example because it happens to me every day. Men out there, wherever you are, whoever you are, okay, PSA announcement. If you are checking somebody like me out and you keep seeing me every single day or whenever you bump into me, whatever the case is, do not be afraid to say something. If you like what you see, you like, if you start to feel me and you want, you're curious as to who I am and what am I about and what it's like to be around me. Say something. Approach. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What are you getting out of not saying nothing and holding back? I've seen so many people held back so many times for not saying how they felt. And then when it came time to actually say something to me, you see me with another person and then you get upset about it. Then you're going around asking everybody questions about me. And guess what? You're not going to get yourself anywhere. Nowadays, not everybody's going to snitch on their loved ones or, or best friends about that person so you can um, get the 411 it ain't happening like that so get off your ass get out of your house and come to that person and come to me if you're one of those people who's been watching me for a while because it's time time again i've been getting signals from a lot of things saying that i'm being watched okay and i have a feeling that i've been watched for like a long time I even been watching tarot card videos and then you know what's funny is shocking to me a lot of people are not into tarot card um tarot card readings anything like that or psychics but yet when it comes to you know looking in on somebody stalking them anything like that they go to a tarot card reader and nowadays guys are starting to do that a lot more which I think is very hilarious because 
guys that I know or people that I've been watching online constantly keep saying that they don't believe in that stuff. But if you start missing somebody very much and you don't know what to say to them, the first thing you go to is a psychic person or a tarot card reader. And I ain't that funny. Yeah. So I found that out last night from one of the tarot card readers that I know very well that I've been watching for years that she has been seeing somebody stalking my page on social media, all of my pages, even my YouTube channel. And I'm sitting here thinking of all of my essays that I could possibly know about my social media page and my YouTube channel. And I can only think of four. So if you're one of those four that's been watching me and you're sitting here feeling some type of way about something. Um, now will be the right time to come to me to talk to me about it. Or if you need to gather your thoughts, do that and then come to me. But I don't appreciate being stalked. I don't appreciate being watched. And it is kind of creepy when you think about it. Having somebody stalk your page every single day, trying to find out where you've been up to, how you've been doing, if you've been dating somebody or whatever the case is. I even had a, a reading where it says that your ex is one has been stalking your page to see if you've been sleeping around on some um, on the, with somebody else. And it's funny because your ex is for a reason. So do we got to explain ourselves when it comes to that? No, we don't. Do I need to explain myself to anybody about that? No, I don't. Because guess what? I'm single. And that's what single people do. So if you're sitting here wondering what's going on, come to me and talk to me about it. If you got questions, come to me and talk to me about it. But one thing you're not going to ask me a question about is if I've been sleeping sleeping with somebody else or seeing somebody else because that's none of your business hey so part two i'm wrapping all this in one video i am so super super impressed about the new age men and i met some of them on tiktok last night and they are such a sweetheart. I appreciate the love that they show me and that they try to uplift me when it comes to certain areas of my life. Because for once, I went on TikTok and actually opened up to everybody about my situation, meaning my personal life. And I expressed to them that I was having a hard time actually opening up to people's and making friends or approaching a guy and talking to them and telling them what I want because usually I would be tight lip about a lot of things and I don't want to come across as emotional or you know too caring or mushy about anything and people was constantly telling me ever since I was 18 telling me that I wear my heart on my sleeves and when I heard that over and over up until I was 22 years old, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm showing a little bit too much on the outside that I actually care and that I love hard. So let me switch it up a bit. Because to me, I personally don't think it's a problem. And I would never tell somebody that it's a problem that they doing that. You're, who are you to be judging about people wearing their heart on their sleeves? So what? If you believe in love, you love love, then go ahead. But don't ever make somebody feel so um, feel so guilty and bad about having a good heart and you love and love and you wear your heart in your sleeve. At least you know I'm capable of love. I'm capable of caring about somebody. I'm capable of putting somebody first before me. And that makes me a good wife. 